Hi, you're watching All24, and I'm Gary Waterman, head coach of St. Francis Xavier University X-Men football team. Today we're going to talk about constructing an offense in Canadian football. And this presentation is really designed for those coaches new to the offensive side of the ball and looking at uh, building an offense. So part one, getting started. So some topics of discussion. Uh, we're going to look at offensive review when you walk into a program and taking an inventory. We'll get into a little bit about identity, establishing your identity, talk about personnel and the importance of, of looking at that, and then generally, you know, getting your offensive philosophy heading into the season. So offensive review. I think it's critical when you walk into a, a new situation, you take a review of what you actually are working with. Uh, in some cases, you might have been there as a position coach and now you've been promoted. In other cases, you just are new to the program. Uh, maybe you've been even doing defense and they need you to move over to offense. And so now you want to take a review of actually what you have. And so when you're looking at a review, you're really talking, you're really trying to get an idea of experience level of players by position. Uh, you're also looking at uh, some possible strengths uh, by position uh, initially. For example, if we're just talking about quarterback position, is that guy a returning player? Does he have an arm or not have an arm? You're doing a review and an analysis. Uh, can you rely on him? Is he a high IQ player? Uh, can you give more leeway to him? Or do you need to keep maintain more control and bring him along slowly? Um, you're talking about the offensive line. You know, are you big and, 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 and powerful? Maybe you want to run a scheme of, where you just can maul people and get on them. Nothing fancy. You can use your size and strength. Or uh, quite opposite, maybe you don't have the size on the offensive line. You're small, but you're quicker. Maybe you need to move them more, maybe pullers, some kind of gap scheme more. You know, these are some thought processes as you're doing review. We all bring in our, our, you know, when you walk into an offense, there's some things you're thinking about you would love to be able to do. Uh, there are some things that you might have, you know, seen other teams do and you want to. But at the end of the day, what's really going to matter is, you know, what do you have on your roster? What can you actually, your players do? So you have to be able to adapt to some degree to what your overall review of what you have is going to be. So again, uh, you know, do you have playmakers? Do you have speed in the, in the skill position players? Do you have a big back? So these are all considerations as you take your inventory checklist. Once you kind of have an idea of that, then you want to start thinking about identity. Okay, we know, uh, you know, we, we have, you know, speed. Uh, you know, maybe that's going to dictate, you know, how you want to sort of design the offense and, and play. Or we're big and powerful. We don't want to be, we don't need to overcoach this. We just need to let our talent and size take over. Uh, whatever it is, you're trying to discover and figure out an identity for your team, which is really critical uh, because that's what you're going to hang your hat on. And then it gives great confidence to your players and your team uh, that you they know who you are. You know, I always love watching teams, and if you know the ones that are really well do really well, you can clearly see their identity, who they are, uh, and they everything comes off of that identity, and it really creates a lot of stress on the defense because uh, they're hanging their hat on something, forcing you to adjust. They're the dictating, they're the ones dictating, not being dictated to, and everyone needs to adjust to them. And so that identity is, you know, once you figure out what your identity is then you want to build off that identity, whether it's a power thing or it's a speed thing or it's a, tr it's a trick thing. Uh, it, you know, so you want to make sure you do that as, as a starting point as well. No, don't overlook the importance of understanding your personnel. Uh, you know, we can, X's and O's are great, but, the, you know, the old saying, it's not about the X's and O's, it's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And really, that's, that's really a reminder that it's about the playmakers. You know, you want to get the ball to the players that can make the plays in the positions that they can make the plays the most effective at. Uh, or, you know, and sometimes the playmakers might be on your offensive line. And so if that's the case, uh, depending on, you know, what team you have that particular year, make sure you rely on them. Make sure you put it in their hands. Uh, if you've got a special quarterback that needs to, that can make people miss, you know, maybe you need to design your offense in that way uh, because that's who your personnel, that's your playmaker. So as you're starting to think about all this and you're thinking about your personnel, you know, playmakers are really critical at the end of the game, the end of the, you know, you want to be able to look back as your game review and said, okay, the players that needed to get the ball, did we get it to them? And did we get it to them in space and we were able to be successful? Nothing more frustrating than uh, we've all been there 
where you're playing and you know you lose a game or you don't have as much production as you want only realize you know you did not get the ball to the people that could have made those plays so uh, that's all on uh, on on uh, a self discovery or discovery thing with your guys and your team as you look through personnel and trying to figure out how you're going to utilize them best once you have you know done your review and uh, you sort of start to form your identity, and they all go hand in hand, and, and you're looking at your personnel. There's, you know, you do them all sort of working together. Then you start to figure out what your offensive philosophy is. You know, okay, this is who we're going to be, and we're going to, you know, we're going to play this way, and we're going to build off of this. I think that's a key thing. Uh, you know, uh, there's so many different, you know, ways to do things and have successful offenses. Uh, when you're in a higher position, like a university level, a professional level at the highest, where you can, you have a chance to recruit from outside of your area, then you have a better chance to sort of bring in a, a, your own philosophy and, and, and have people fit it. When you're doing minor football or, you're, again, you're doing high school, you're sort of relying on who shows up, um, you know, who's in within your program, who you finally have. And, and so there's not, you, you know, you have to really adjust a little bit more. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, at the university level, level from year to year, we have to make adjustments. And it, it, the ones that make the adjustments the best tend to have the best success. So it's all about adjusting to your personnel and your philosophy. Am I a no-huddle team? Uh, what type of team do I want to play? Do I want to do I want to pound the ball? Do I want to space you out? So that's all based off of your, your review, your identity, and your personnel. So there will be more videos like this at All24. Um, that's part one in this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to uh, sharing part two and three with you.